Y'all, it's getting hot out there. Gas dehydrated. Hello my friends, it is Tess, this is Wander Wealthy, and today I wanted to share some really awesome free ideas for you to do on a no spend weekend. So we are in the middle of a no spend challenge, we're almost done, we've been doing the entire month of May and man, it has been a learning experience, at least for me. If you haven't seen some of the other no spend videos, make sure you go check those out on my channel and also hit the subscribe button if you've been hanging out around here for a while and you like this personal finance, personal development and travel advice slash tips slash living lifestyle things, then come hang out with me more. So today, like I said, I have, wait, how many of them do I have? Hmm. Today I have 15, one, two, three times five, different no spend ideas for you to do solo or for you to do with your partner. Just, they can be date ideas, they can be weeknight ideas or weekend ideas, whatever you wanna do. These are some ideas for you so that you can fill your time and entertain yourself, but do it while going through a no spend month. Let's dive in. Number one is pretty easy and not gonna be all that exciting, but it is to finally finish that book that you have been trying to read for months. If you're like me, you pick up a book, you attempt to read it, you get busy and then you can't actually finish the book. So a no spend challenge is a great time to actually fill that downtime where you would typically be going out to dinner or maybe going and meeting up with friends and paying for a concert or something. And you can just use it to finish that book for once. Number two is something really weird that I just do to fill my time and that is to do research and uh, what I like to call Wikipedia deep dives. This is something I've been getting really into since I started watching The Crown on Netflix and also the whole royal wedding thing. So I love to like research celebrities or research just old Victorian princesses and do deep dives on Wikipedia, but you can also just like do your own research on a topic that you're interested in and you've never quite gone to the lengths of really looking it up and becoming knowledgeable about it. I know, I know it's really weird, but it's like literally something I do. And whenever my friends and I are hanging out, we come up with these weird, crazy questions about specific topics, like how many 100 year olds there are in the world today. That's always something that I add to my, oh, I'll Google that later list. And so maybe a no spend challenge is a perfect time to figure that out because who doesn't need to know how many 100 year olds are alive today? I'm serious, there's a list of living centenarians. That's what they're called, centenarians. And in case you're also wondering, there's a lot of them. Okay, moving on. Number three is, well, let's say you don't have a book that you're trying to finish, then here's a good idea. Go to the library and find a book that is free and start to read it. Or use the library as an opportunity to do more research about that topic that you're particularly interested in. Sticking with the research slash using your computer as a tool thing, number four is to look up fun makeup and hair tutorials on YouTube and try to attempt them using the products that you have. I like to do this because it's something fun to try, but I often fail. It's nice to learn kind of a new technique or a skill and actually implement it on yourself and then start using it in your everyday life, which clearly I don't do very often. Number five is to attempt something that you find on Pinterest. I like these last two ideas because it's just trying to do something new and either learn new skills or expand your capabilities in these different kind of arts and crafts ways. And we don't usually make time to do those things, to practice these fun ways to express ourselves. So why not exercise your right and use your no spend challenge month to entertain yourself doing just that. If you're still looking to stay at home during the No Spend Challenge, you can also have a movie marathon. Call up your friends, find out what movies they have. Maybe you personally own the entire set of Harry Potter DVDs. Whatever you can scrape together, sit down, 
pop some popcorn, and enjoy a bunch of movies. Number seven on the list is to call a friend or a family member that you haven't spoke to in a while. I can spend hours on the phone catching up with someone and it's very, at least for me, like I'm just sitting next to them, chatting with them, enjoying a glass of wine. Connecting with friends or family that live far away is still so important for the heart and soul, especially the ones that you could talk to for hours as if you never missed a beat in your life but maybe you haven't seen in a long time. Number eight is to do a fun cooking challenge with the leftover ingredients that you do have in your home. Especially if you're doing the no spend challenge and you're doing the most extreme level, then you probably can't go out and go shopping for a bunch of new ingredients, but you can use whatever you have, test it out, maybe challenge your partner or challenge a group of people and figure out what you can make out of the stuff you have. And then you can all do like an end of the challenge taste test where you see who's actually turned out the best. Okay, we still haven't left the house yet, but I promise you we will soon. However, number nine is to have a spa day, your own personal spa day with the products that you have in your home. I did a bathroom clean out video earlier this year, and I shared that there was a lot of stuff that I had accumulated just because you know I have a bottle of lotion and then I get another one gifted to me. And then I have maybe a bath bomb that I've never used and a bunch of nail polish that I've just accumulated and what a great way to actually use those products for once then sit down and pamper yourself for the day. Plus, so often we fail to make time for ourselves in that way. And you don't necessarily need to go to the spa, go to the nail salon, go get a massage, go get your hair done. You can do that for yourself right in your very own home using the products that you already have. And number 10 is cleaning out and organizing your closet. If you've been a part of my channel community for a while, you know that I've been really on this route and journey towards minimalism. And it's all started back in my Chicago apartment when I did my closet clean out number one, and then my closet clean out number two, and my bathroom clean out, and my apartment clean out, and then I just moved to Italy, and now we're kind of starting over in a way, slash mixing all of our stuff together, slash finding a way to get to our perfect balance eventually. But it is a fun and very time consuming thing to do. It can feel a little overwhelming at first, but then you just pump some tunes and you get through it. And when you're done cleaning out whatever it is you want to clean out and organizing it, oh, the feeling, it feels so good. So use this time during the no spend month to do just that. And number 11 is to rearrange some of the furniture in your home. If you're really struggling with wanting to invest in new home decor or go shopping, instead challenge yourself to reimagine your place in an entirely new light or entirely new way. So you don't necessarily need to go out and buy something. You can try mixing things around and sometimes just that feeling of newness is enough to keep you from feeling like you have to go buy something in order to feel like you know you have this sense of newness in your home and that feeling usually lasts for a good week or two so might as well milk it while you're going through the challenge okay now we are gonna get out of the house with number 12 which is to go hiking running biking just get out and get a little bit of exercise I particularly like to do this because you can explore a new place while you are getting some exercise in find a local park or if you live near different sort of hiking trails actually go to them for once and hike and explore especially the ones you've never been to before I think it was the first weekend of this no spend challenge my boyfriend and I just went went to a new city and went on their running trails because it was a beautiful place. Of course, we're in Italy, so they had this big palace and it was fun for me to look around while he was going on his super long run. Number 13 is to explore the free museums in your town or your area. Most likely, your museum offers some sort of 
free museum night. I know in Chicago, we did have free museum entrances for citizens of Chicago. So there was a certain night of the week where you could actually get into the museum for free. I think it was like Tuesday or Wednesday, but that is really awesome. Last weekend, we were just in Rome and they actually had free museum after 8 p.m. during the, that particular weekend. So do your research, figure out when and where the free museums are for you. And some museums are just always free, so definitely take advantage of that. Well, after an apartment alarm went off and then I hit record but didn't realize that my camera was off, let's try this a third time. All right, I believe that we are on idea number 14, and if we are, great, you're getting 15 ideas, and if we aren't, I apologize. I don't know where we're at. It's been a week. Number 14 is for those fit humans out there or people that want to be fit wherever you're at in your fit journey. If you are on your no spend challenge and you're kind of at that point where you need to renew your gym membership or just find a gym to belong to, you can always try this out for a month, which is to get all of those free first classes or first week free at different gyms around your area. In Chicago, this is super easy because there's a ton of cool boutique -y gyms. Like you can try acro yoga or aerial fitness or regular yoga or cycling. And you can always get like a week or a free class. And that is a great way to fill your time while still getting your fitness on, but not having to pay. I know that this can come off as a little cheap, but when you're doing your no spend challenge, you gotta do what you gotta do. Plus it's super fun to try out different things, move your body in different ways, and see if you find a new thing that you're gonna like, that you're gonna wanna pursue after the challenge. And assuming last was 14, that means we are on 15, which is to find the free events in your community. You can use Facebook or Eventbrite, those are two really great options to find events around you, happening around you, and you can even search for the ones that are free to enter. Again, in Chicago, we have really, really awesome street festivals that sometimes offer free samples for food and wine, and then you have great music, and they're generally free to get into. Sometimes they require a contribution or don't, and you can just say, I'm doing a no spend challenge, or I'm on a budget, and then they'll be like, ah, I hear you, me too. But those are really cool free events to go to that are a source of entertainment and it gets you into a new neighborhood perhaps or around a new group of people and it's just another thing to do to fill your time while you're doing your no spend challenge. So those are my 15 ideas. I hope that they are ones that you can take or they at least ignite some sort of ideas for you, how you can entertain yourself while you're going through the challenge. If you have ideas that you wanna share, pop them in the comment section below so that we can add to this list. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel push that button over there. And if you want to be supported by a group of human beings who are on this journey towards personal development, personal finance, and travel betterment, then come to the Wealthy Wanderers private Facebook community. Go to wanderwealthy.com slash FB. You can get in the Facebook group. You can get on my email list. You can get a bunch of free content from me. And of course, surround yourself by really cool people. Until I see you in there or in my next video, I hope you wander wealthy.